brothers and sisters. Um, this is just going to be a part of a series on Halloween, and I just want to plead with you, please do not partake in this wicked day. Um, and by that I mean don't dress up, don't have your children dress up in costumes, don't hand out candy, don't uh, let your children go out and take candy from strangers, don't... Um, don't partake in these quote-unquote Christian harvest parties, or whatever they want to call them. Just abstain from Halloween, you know, completely, um, and all these rituals that, that people take place. Don't decorate your house with carved pumpkins, or cobwebs, or anything like that, spider webs. Uh, please don't. Um, you know, it's, it's unbelievable that people who profess to be Christians would partake in this, and... You know, I've partook in it in most of my life because I was lost, but now I'm saved, and there's a difference, and I realize how wicked this day is, and um, I've done some research, and I'm still doing research, but I want to provide a couple of links to videos that, that really do a good job explaining things, uh, one from Brian Moonen and one from Jeremiah Films, um, so I'll, I'll put those links in the info for this video, and... Uh, there's a number of topics that I want to present here. I found some really good, um, uh, some really good articles that people have written here. And uh, Kevin Kazak, he he made a comment about me being very, uh, I don't know, confrontational because I I got on this uh, Chicks Tracks channel and I commented to this David Daniels guy who makes those videos. Because he, he, he presented these Halloween chick tracks that pretty much glorified Halloween. And then he said that he, he was encouraging people to give them out with candy on Halloween, which is partaking in, in the wicked deeds of Halloween and these rituals. So I told him, you know, that... And he was talking about uh, what things can Christians agree or agree to disagree on. And I told him that, you know, um, Halloween is wicked whether you agree or not, it is what it is, and you shouldn't partake in it. Christians should not partake in this. They should not be handing out candy and tracts on Halloween. They should not have tracts that glorify Halloween, that glorify dressing up in costumes. Um, so that's going to be, uh, and there's no problem with that. Like Kevin Kazak tried to make it sound like that was a problem, but you know what? I'm earnestly contending for the faith once delivered to the saints, like the Bible says to, and I'm reproving the, the works of darkness, okay? So if I see a, a person who called himself a brother and they're in error like that, then I am going to call them out, and I'm going to expose them. So this video, I'm going to read probably just this whole article, and it is, Should Christians Give Out Tracts for Trick or Treat? And I think that I pretty much agree with this. Uh, so, should Christians evangelize on Halloween? Should Christians give out tracts for trick-or-treat? Yes, Christians should evangelize, evangelize on Halloween, but not by participating in the trick-or-treat tradition. Followers of Jesus Christ may hand out tracts that present the gospel and expose the truth about Halloween during the day on Halloween or even at night, as long as they do not engage in traditions devised to glorify Satan in order to do so. Don't allow quote-unquote Christian ministries who stand to make money from the sale of Halloween tracts sway you. In no way, shape, or form should any child of God partake of trick-or-treat style evangelism. Would you bow down to a statue of Buddha in order to evangelize the lost? Would you pray to Allah, the moon god, in order to evangelize the lost? Would you bow to a statue of Mary or partake of the mass in order to evangelize the lost? Then why would you participate in an occult ritual in order to evangelize those without Christ on Halloween? As a true Christian, you will not deny Jesus Christ with your actions in order to serve him. That is why you must also not engage in Satan's trick-or-treat tradition. Do not allow anyone to convince you that you must sin in this manner in order to reach others with the gospel of Jesus Christ. You will have a much greater testimony with the lost by not engaging in a holiday that even they know has nothing to do with God. There are plenty of ways to evangelize on Halloween without conforming to Satan's trick-or-treat agenda. For example, gospel booklets can be left in a basket on a lighted porch so children can take them if they wish. Any child or teen old enough to trick-or-treat without an accompanying parent can read a sign that says, Take one, free. If the children are 
Too young to read, the adult who accompanies them can read the sign and take one and read it for themselves and to their children. One can share the gospel on Halloween night, and you don't have to conform to the world to do it. Let's be honest, there is absolutely no need to engage in trick-or-treat in order to evangelize on Halloween. Trick-or-treat, a satanic ritual that represents human sacrifice, is cloaked as an innocent game that children play in order to receive candy. God's people must not touch the abominable trick-or-treat tradition because this custom comes straight from Satan and is employed on his special night, the highest satanic high day of the year. What if Satan tries to trick you into honoring his trick-or-treating ritual? What should you do if the trick-or-treaters walk right past the tracks in the basket and knock on the door anyway? Open the door when the children and teens say trick-or-treat, kindly tell them and the adults who are accompanying them that you have no treat because you are Christians and do not celebrate Halloween. Then ask them if they may share if you may share with them how they can be forgiven of their sins and become a child of God. See if they are willing to engage in conversation about this. If not, remind them that they that there are gospel booklets in the basket. Responding with the words, we have no treat, and not handing the, the trick-or-treaters a treat sends the message to the children and to Satan, who is very legalistic, that you are not paying homage to Satan by participating in his trick-or-treat ritual, and you will not be tricked into it either. Furthermore, these non-compromising actions demonstrate to a lost and dying world that while Halloween is an abomination to God, he is still reaching out in love to those who do not know him. But God commendeth his love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. Unto God be the glory in his remnant church, even on Halloween. Unto him be the glory and the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Ephesians three twenty one. And I totally agree. You know, uh, David Daniels has got it wrong. You know, the tracks that they make that are promoting Halloween, glorifying it, are wrong. Um, because they've got kids in costumes on Halloween, and they're not condemning that. They're not saying this is wicked, this is wrong, you shouldn't be doing this. Um, and then he goes even further to say that you should hand out these tracks on Halloween with candy, partic participate in this trick-or-treat ritual. Now that's just false. Okay, This is a perfectly presented way that you can still evangelize. Um, you know, leave the light on, have a basket with tracks outside. If they come to your door anyway, tell them that you're a Christian, you don't part participate in this. Ask if you can give them the gospel, and if not, then you tell them that they can have one of the tracks. You know, that's a great idea. Um, also, you can just go out on the streets and hand out gospel tracks, uh, you know, and proclaim how wicked Halloween is. Um, so please, brothers and sisters, do not partake in this wicked holiday. And really what we need to be doing as people is fasting and prayer, and I'm going to have another video on that, but I plan to fast, uh, remain, uh, abstain from eating that whole week leading up to Halloween. Um, I'm going to attempt to do that, so I ask you to join me in that. Um, but I'll have more on that in another video, but please, please do not partake in this. Uh, don't listen to those wicked apostates who will tell you that it's perfectly fine to dress up and to play games and do all this stuff to, you know, partake in these rituals of Halloween. It's totally not something that Christians should be doing. We are to abstain from all appearance of evil. We are to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Uh, you cannot take partake of the, you know, the devil's cup and the Lord's cup. So, um, you know, David Daniels is wrong and he needs to repent of that. And so, anyways, that's it. So, God bless. Watch the videos that I will leave in the in the info. And I encourage you to do more research on Google, you know, for Halloween and on YouTube, the history of Halloween. Uh, thank you. God bless you. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.